Hi, Sam here with CAD Productivity. Welcome to CivilCAD Consultant's Express Tip on Creating Skewed Cross-Sections. It's really easy to create skewed sections by using MicroStation to define locations. Here I don't have any predefined locations, so I'm going to draw them using MicroStation. I'll go to my Place Smart line, and I'll just sketch in some locations where I would like to have a skewed section. I'm not limited to just lines, I can place a multi-segment line as well. Once I have the locations placed with MicroStation, the next step in the process is to make a selection set of those lines. I'll add each to a selection set and then I will select my cross-section command. In the cross-section command, on the general tab, the interval left and right offset won't matter because what I'm uh, doing is creating sections just where the graphics exist. The vertical exaggeration, however, does matter. Notice I've got mine set to 2. I turn on the surfaces that I would like to see. I can also include uh, components, crossing features, etc. And I go to Custom where I change the type to line string. When I change it to line string, I go down and notice that the graphic option is now available. If the cross-section command had been already open when I created the graphics in the selection set, then I might need to switch to a different leaf and back to the custom leaf so that the graphics would be available. Or you can also switch to a different type and back to line string. So I'll pick graphic and notice it loads three different stations, two SKUs, and then a line string option. If you pick one of the uh, options here, one of the stations, then you notice that it will show you the left and right offset and the SKU angle for that particular location. It's also a good idea to go to your controls and make sure that you don't have on any other critical sections or those will show up in your cross-section set as well. I'll apply. For the location, I'll zoom out to a clear area in my file, close out of the cross sections. Notice it asks if I want to save a custom set of cross sections. If you say yes, you can save a text file that lists the location and the information about the skewed sections, and then next time you can load those up if you want to recreate the same set. And when I zoom in, you'll notice I have a set of skewed cross sections. You'll also notice that the side slopes have some breaks in them. This is caused by the triangulation and the way that the cross section is cut by tracing the legs of the triangles. This can be resolved by going to Surface Properties and on the Advanced tab for the proposed surface, turning on Use Features Only. I'll apply Go back to the cross-section command, choose Update Cross-Sections, and refresh the surface. And now the cross-section shows feature-to-feature -feature lines rather than tracing the triangles. Thanks for watching. To be notified when we publish a new tip, please sign up for our email list at civilcadconsultant.com.